All right, boomers, it's 8-Bit Otter again with another deck box opening for the UU Hakusho trading card game. Last time I got Team Urameshi, so I wanted to try my luck again, so I bought another one off of uh, Amazon, Amazon.com, <laughs> and uh, so uh, why, don't we give, why don't we give it a second try, shall we? Okay, first I gotta find my knife. Where's my trusty knife? Oh, lost it. That's okay. Got my scissors. So, gonna open it ever so carefully. Ever so carefully. Since last time, I still don't know the rules of the trading card game, so uh, bear with me. Actually, I know a little more than last time, um, but not as much as I knew as a child. So, uh, oh, it's a little shiny, but that's what the box looks like. And if you saw my last video, you already know that. And let's open it again. Oop, I put it face down this time. Okay, so I'll explain these better in this video. These are spirit counters, and basically at the start of each turn, you get to add two to your, uh, your what is it? I guess spirit energy pool. And you can get a maximum of a 10, and those basically help you, um, huh, I guess do spirit, oh, I spoiled it, damn it, but I'm excited who it is. I'm really excited this time. Uh, I know who I'm getting, and uh, <laughs> kind of threw off my train of thought, but uh, here's the uh, manual again, and the the awesome the awesome checklist. I forgot to mention this too last time. This is kind of like a redemption video also, because I forgot to explain like what the, the purpose of this is. Uh, we got right here, oops. So, uh, you got the Team Urameshi in the front row, and then you got the other teams in the back row. And, uh, got a lot of some hilarious characters, like Chu right there is great. And we got, uh, Shishi Wakamaru, I believe his name is. Oh, God, you Yu Hakusho fans are gonna kill me. Uh, we got, oh, Toya. I didn't forget. How could I forget that? Jin. And then we got, uh, George the Blue Ogre. I know his name. How could I not know George's name? He's my favorite character, one of my favorite characters in the show. I don't want to say my favorite, because pretty much every character could be considered my favorite. But definitely Chroma is, I have to say, probably my favorite. So I'm going to do what I did last time, put the mat out, and uh, hopefully explain the rules better this time. So I believe the deck itself is the same. Yeah, so here's uh, Ali Kaffer. Ekishi. Uh, I'll open it anyways, just just because you're you're clicking on this video because you want me to see me see me open this, which is why we're here. So let's do this thing. We got uh, this again. A gadassable a baseball bat to the face. Spirit wave. That's Genkai. Oh yeah, who doesn't like Genkai? Oh, spoiler alert. Actually, she's the mass fighter in this. Darn it, we gotta get better with those. Uh, here's Toya again, Shards of Winter. Now, um, see this little, that little number there? That's how much spirit energy it costs to use the attack. So, with the counter, you'll be like, at the beginning of your turn, you have to knock it down a notch just to use it. And, but you get a 4,000 attack bonus, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. This one doesn't cost anything, I think because it's an equip card. Not all equips cost something. And then we got, sorry, uh, Spirit Ring, Desperate Temper, Weapons Master, oop, sorry, I should get this better focus. There it is, Weapons Master. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get better at filming these. I think each time uh, I do these, I kind of figure out the best way to set up my camera. And my camera setup today is really nice, so I can move more freely. Uh, desperate Decision. Oh yeah, the, all the desperate cards. It's like a subgenre. You can make a desperate deck, and then really big axe. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's a really fun card game. Now I have two decks. So if uh, anyone wants to play me, let me know. Let me know. I, I can. Uh, we can brush up on the rules. Sabotage. Oh, uh, here's a great character. I was like. He's a, t no, 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 he's a terrible character, but that's why he's so great. He's one of the most sinister characters from the show. 
uh, threatens Kurama's mom, but he gets his comeuppance, and I wouldn't dare spoil that because it's probably one of the best scenes in the whole entire show. Got time out, senseless helmet, trace eyes, photon zor, a fever or fever, speared palm blast, improvised weapon. So I also wanted to mention this last time. <laughs> uh, I always thought if they ever made a Yu Yu Hakusho movie. Arnold Schwarzenegger should play Tagoro. Oh yeah, just think of, think of that movie, how cool it would be. And who would play Elder Tagoro? Uh, his his brother that shapeshifts? None other than the king of pop, Michael Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee! <laughs> All right, senseless helmet, not bad. Actually, with the later cards, uh, it's pretty bad because <laughs> holy power creep, this game has got the worst <laughs> ever. That's why the game, the game kind of fell apart was because the the next set completely outranked the previous set and uh, caused a lot of uh, caused a lot of uh, hardcore players, I'm sure, to not want to play it anymore. I mean, I, I still wanted to play it. I just I didn't have money. These things were kind of expensive. They're like three bucks a pack. I gotta get me Jolly Ranchers. That's what I like. These are these are actually way better than Jolly Ranchers, and they hold up way better. And unlike Jolly Ranchers, Yu Yu Hakusho trading card games will not give you cavities. So uh, that's just going through the deck. Uh, and oops, here they have the deck zone right here. So you just put your deck right there. And um, so yeah, it's a, it's a card battling game where you, you it's one on one. So that's when I was saying last time it's like Pokemon. In the Pokemon card game, you do a one on one battle. Uh, one character versus one character. and. I forgot, I think you can only swap out in this when someone dies. So, I liked how they did that because it was really true to the show. Uh, the, the, the Dark Tournament Saga, how they were fighting 1v1. Anyway, let's uh, continue on. So, I spoiled it already, but I'm really happy of what... Spoiled it for myself. Really happy of what character cards I got in the set. Because this was the same deck I had as a kid. I can't find my original cards, but... For now, I have these. We got Chew, and he's got Swagger Foo. Chew with Swagger Foo, <laughs> dude. I think this is like this is Swagger before anyone else claimed the turn Swagger. Chew's the uh, original grandfather, godfather of Swag. And then we got Zero. Hey Zero. Um, he gets messed up. Don't want to spoil it again, but. Oh, he gets messed up, courtesy of Mr. Hie. Oh, and here's that guy I was talking about. He's even in the, uh, I would like you to lick the scum off my boots. Uh, Sean Scamell, uh, most, most notably from playing Goku. And Professor Crowler from Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> nah, who am I kidding? No one remembers him from playing Professor Crowler from Yu-Gi-Oh GX. I just wanted to throw that out because I knew it. <laughs> uh, flexing my nerd muf muscles voice this character. Uh, Roto, he was really, really funny at the same time he was really a bastard. But he gets his comeuppance too. Both these guys, the whole entire team of Kuyukai, with the exception of Chu and Rinku, they get all messed up. And we got Good Ref. I think that's like a uh, play on word against the uh, Good Grief, like Charlie Brown. I don't know. Look at the top 10 cards of your deck and put them back on top in any order. Oh man, could you imagine that in like any other card game? That would be like <laughs> super powerful. That's like an instant draw whatever the hell you want. Oh, and then the final card is Serpent's Yo-Yo. Serpent Yo-Yo. Yo Serpent Yo-Yo's. My mistake. My mistake. This was an attack used by Rinku as depicted in this card. Uh, in the first round of the Dark Tournament where he was fighting Kubar, and I believe that was episode 33. Not really sure. Gotta think of that. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> uh, definitely, definitely worth getting these cards again. I really enjoyed uh, looking at these again, just remembering how much fun I had using this team. Because I do like. There's a lot of bastards on this team, but these two characters, probably one of my favorite uh, dark tournament characters, or new characters introduced in the dark tournament. And then there's some others, but we'll get into those. Hopefully, I can get another box and open these characters I'm thinking of. And, uh, so, thanks for watching this opening. If you still have your cards, I'm looking at you, Michael. 
I know you still have your deck. I saw that Facebook post. <laughs> uh, challenge me. Let's let's uh, let's have a battle. Leave a comment in the comment section. And we can uh, work out a time to, you know, face off. We can do it in a Starbucks. You know, that's always fun. <laughs> I mean, if people are allowed to write their novellas in Starbucks. We're allowed to play some Yu Yu Hakusho trading card games in that Starbucks. I swear. If you haven't already, rate, comment, and subscribe. Wait, rate? Rate's not really a thing anymore. I meant to say like, because we're all about the thumbs up in this world. That's the, the thing that gets us instant gratification is thumbs up. This just makes you feel so good. Put some thumbs up loving in here. Don't do the thumbs down. Do the thumbs up. Do the up, not the down. <laughs> uh, make the ratio look good. I don't want I don't want it to be like a red lightsaber. I want, I want Luke's lightsaber, not Darth Vader's lightsaber. I want it to be purely green. God, my eye itches. <laughs> And, uh, yep, so like, comment, subscribe, we covered all that. And until next time, boomers, have a boomertastic day. Hee <laughs> hee! Oh, we're doing this thing now? This thing where I'm just standing in the middle and videos just float around me? Alright, it's kind of campy and cheesy, but why not? I mean, cause that's what that's what sells, right? Okay, here we go. Uh, oh, we, here's the episode where we play Rocky. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a good one. And then we got over here. Oh, this is a, that's the uh, Yu Yu Hakusho deck box. The first one. That, that's the first opening I did. The, where I got Team Yurameshi. Oh, oh, and down there. That's the Night Trap video. Right here, this Night Trap video. <laughs> and what's on this here? Oh, oh, that's a good one. You gotta click on this one. That is Super Mario 64. Oh, but there's one more right here. Oh. Oh, One Piece Pirates Carnival. Oh boy. Hey, click on this one. <sighs> Smells great. I should have just why didn't I just do a screen cap? Why did why was I frozen like that? That was a That was a weird choice. Huh. Why are you still why are you still here? This is this is very awkward. I'll stare into your soul.